Hey again, you, and welcome back to another test video. So starting it off today, you have a max health test again. All right, so we have Ginyu here with power body builds. So his defense plus two attack minus one, then his healing and power body with trunks AI. Going up against Kid Gohan with max health and Vegeta AI. Let's see how he does. So Raccoon just slammed the hell out of Goten. Go Gohan. Oh, that sounds wrong. Uh, that sounds wrong. And he he. No, let's say he grabbed him. That sounds wrong too. I, I don't know. I don't know. He beat. No, no. <laughs> I, I don't know how to make it sound like either rape or child abuse. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. He defeated Gohan in a game of wits. I don't. I, don't, I guess. I, yeah, that sounds the best. At a high speed clash, Gohan wins it. Self harm starting off already. So he has what? Defense plus two, attack minus one, but then power body gives you attack defense minus one, so he has defense plus one and attack minus one with Dende's healing. Hmm. Never really thought of going power body defensive like. I always thought that if you're gonna go with power body you might as well go full on out for offense since you're gonna be, you know, unfazed by their hit, so you might as well get as much damage as you can. Right now it's about even fight. Full power energy wave. Misses. Super unhealing spirit. Alright, so that means that he'll be able to go to the power body, right? Gal farm. That's a pretty good melee combo. Hmm. Wally connects to 7.5. And right now, Gotan would be kicking his butt despite the power body. No, I'm kicking his butt too bad. Gotan would be in the yellow right now, so it'd still be a close fight. I wouldn't say completely kicking his butt. He's not even up by a bar. Now it's about even fight now. So, never mind, scratch that. There you go, now he's pulling in the lead. Running post 5. Will we see an official win? I win him again. Compare energy wave. Connect. And there you go, there's an official win. Now will we see an actual win? High speed clash. Gohan wins it. Gohan is fighting circles around Ginyu right now. And showing why his B1 build is so good in that after image strike. And Gohan wins it. Fight again. Yeah, that after image so makes his B1 build so powerful, including the you know, the indomitable fighting spirit, or whatever the hell it's called, the, the spirit thing. But, you know, the ability to just hop out of the way and dodge out of hits like that definitely makes him a, a really good uh, contender, you know, despite his little frame and you, uh, you expect him to be one of the worst Gohans on the team, but no, after his, you know, the appearance of his B1 build in the, the playoffs, you know, he's, he's been looking at one of the best B1ers in the league, and now, there's been a couple of teams that have been having uh, B1 builds created, you know, and kind of mirror images of him who have similar abilities. I know, uh, for the Booze, we have a B1 build for, um, for Oob. He has Wild Sense, and it's top to the very limit, so, you know, you can go ahead and Wild Sense out of the way and kick the opponent in the back of the head. A good melee is not getting hit. <laughs> that is a good melee. Yeah. Then we tried one on Easy Boom, that didn't work so hot. Because <laughs> his hit, you know, the coach wanted to try it out, but I'm like, his B1s aren't even worth it. He has, like, he has, a uh, What does he have? He has Mystic Breath and he has, uh, Calcasin. So, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not even like, a uh, Goldo, where sure he has, like, some kind of paralyzed move, but then he also has a max combo. He doesn't even have that. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have either A, a max power move, or B, a dodging move, then there's really no point for you to make a B1 build, because it's just not worth it. It's not worth committing all them points to. You know, you're committing, you know, what, 
five to six points on a on a B1 build for Goldo slash uh, Jace. Because it's worth it, but, you know, on, on, on Evil Blue, it just wasn't worth it. We tried it out multiple times, multiple times. He, he would probably do, like, maybe, like, one Calcasin in the entire fight, so we devoted, you know, six points because we'd even give him the exquisite skill just to get that extra stun, and he would do one. So six points for him to do one Calcasin is ridiculous. Yeah. I, don't, I totally don't mind, you know, giving him two points for a Kibito Secret Art and if he wants to go up to max power and do an ultimate, more power to you. I don't mind that. But, you know. Spirit to control? Yeah. You know, especially one of them, one of them is already one, you know. It's not like Goldo or, or Jace where it, it's, uh, you know, it's already at two so you drop it to one or, you know, in Goldo's case where he's at, uh, he's at, uh, what? He's at one with paralysis, but it won't go down to zero, but it's still worth it for the spiritual control because the other one. It's not worth it. Calcasin would go down to one, and Mystic Breath, which he rarely uses, but he's been using a lot more of that. It would go stay at one, so it's just not worth it. And while I was rambling on, uh, Kenyu apparently got his butt kicked, so it was close. I think it was close to an official win, but I don't think he pulled it out in the end. Alright, so this is the first test video, so I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching, thanks for supporting me as a tester, and I will see you in the next test video. Thanks for watching.